Hi and welcome to the freelance channel. This is Veronica and today I'm going to show you another tutorial and this time it's going to be about adding an account on Outlook 2013. Just to make sure that it's clear, the account that I'm going to add today is a test account that is set up on a Google Apps account. So it's not the ordinary Gmail account but a Google Apps account. Now to make sure that you are setting up your account correctly, you have to make sure that you have enabled IMAP or POP in your settings in your email. So to do that, all you need to do is to log into your email. On the upper right hand corner of your browser window, just click on the cog or the just click on the wheel icon. Actually, if you hover it, it will show settings. So just click on that one and click on settings. Once you have clicked on the settings button, click on the forwarding and pop or IMAP tab. And from the list, make sure that IMAP access is enabled. So you just have to toggle the button to enable IMAP. And at the same time, make sure that you read the other settings. Click on Save Changes to apply the change in the IMAP setting. Okay, once you have that configured, you have to go back to your Outlook 2013. Click on File. And then click on Add Account. From the Add Account window, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose manual setup so I can configure them and then I'll click on pop or IMAP and click on next alright so I'm going to name this account as test account and the email address that I have set up earlier is test at CebuVirtualSolutions.com and I'll make use of IMAP. For the incoming mail server, that is IMAP.gmail.com and for your outgoing mail server, that will be SMTP.gmail.com. Now you have to make sure that on the login information that you don't just leave the username as the first part you have to make sure that you input the whole email address so that's still test at Cebu virtual solutions .com. and then for your password I'll just set my password in there now I'm not going to click next yet I'll have to go to the more settings option and I'll name this folder as test account for the outgoing server I'll make sure that I'll check the my outgoing server to require authentication but leave it as use same settings as my incoming mail server alright so once I have done that I'll go to the advanced tab for IMAP incoming server that will be 993 and I'll make sure that its encryption is SSL for the outgoing that will be 465 but if that doesn't work you can actually make use of 587 and also make sure to set it at SSL encrypted connection alright and I'll just leave it as it is for the meantime and then I'll click OK and then I'll go ahead and click next so basically what's happening right now it's testing out alright so the login has been successful so it's trying to send a test email message and there you go so both of the settings that I have configured is working perfectly. So all I need to do right now is to just close this dialog box and then I'll go ahead and hit finish. 
And there you go. So I do have my new inbox now and I'll I'm able to send and receive from my Outlook. All right. So that is how you're going to set up your account on Outlook 2013 if you have an IMAP if you are making use of a Google Apps email. And if you have any questions with the setup, uh, drop me a message or leave a comment on this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. I do produce tutorial videos. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to subscribe to the Freelance channel by hitting the subscribe button at the bottom of this video. And at the same time, feel free to share, leave a comment, or like this video. Also, you can visit our website. It's www.certifiedfreelance.com. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.